Hi and welcome to this new stage of the Ruby Basics course of Race Karate. In this stage we're going to talk about Ruby modules. So what's a module? Module serves like a container of classes, methods, data, constants and even other modules. And it's very used for maintaining spacing to our classes and methods. The first thing we're going to do is create our first module. We we'll create, or oh well, I already created a folder called modules and a file called example module.rb. So let's create a module called race card. So we just type module keyword and we name our module. Okay. Now let's load this into using our load command getting our IRB console and load the course. Uh, if you are if you are not following along with the course and you are not watching it from the beginning, um, you should be wondering what is this? So this is our workspace and it's at c9.io so if you don't know what's a workspace I recommend you take a look to one to my first videos and go back to there and you, you will understand that what, what, why we are using a workspace well let's continue so oh. Okay, we loaded our fail or file. Um, now try to access to our model. Just type in its name, and as you can see, we get race card back. Okay, and now take a look at Ruby. Indeed, is um, knows indeed knows that this is a model. Yes, it is. Okay, it's very important for you that modules must begin with an uh, uppercase letter in order to work because if I do not start with uppercase you will see an error here and if I say and try to access I mean to load again well you will see must be constant the name must be must begin in uppercase okay well um reload the file and oh let's add some data to our module let's create a constant called stage it's gonna be equals to ruby modules okay save reload and let's try to to access to our new constant so if i try to type stage lawn it will be an error because it's not initialized so here we are named spacing because we're going to access to our module and then we're going to access to the constant called stage so you can see the way um, to access data inside of our module is using two columns so the same way we create constants, we can add, for example, a class. Let's create a class called lesson. And this class will have an attribute accessor. Well, title. Let's save. And let's create an instance of the class contained inside of our module okay so reload okay uh, we receive a warning that it's saying that we already had a constant initialized called stage but don't worry about it it just says that the constant we had before was changed and indeed it was changed the, okay so let's create an instance 
So let's create a lesson equals to rails karate colon colon lesson dot new. Ah, uh, here we have an instance of our, the class of the lesson class. And if I say lesson that title equals to um, okay, so we have our lesson called uh, creating modules, and it's contained uh, on it's contained in the in the race karate the race karate module. So how we can know? Um, that is contained in the risk character module because if we make an inspect to the object you will see here this starts with the module name called column and the lesson the class name of the object so that's it and this is how you create models and add data to it um, you learn how to access to that data including classes, constants, you can add variables, you can add even over other modules and it's very useful for namespacing so you will have organized your your context of information and we'll see this in more detail when we work with Ruby and Rails you will see things like this like you will see things like this very frequently in Ruby and Rails so don't worry if you don't you know, see how it will be useful right now um, the next lesson we're going to take a look how to work with these modules we're going to learn some extra concepts about modules that will will be very useful in the go as always don't forget to follow me on twitter as bastion Belandia, follow race karate as race karate follow us on facebook as race karate always keep an eye on race karate.com where you will find the transcript of this video and a lot of stuff and uh, thanks for subscribing to our channel see you next lesson